This is Will Buchanan reporting for the Walk for Liberty. It's June 28th, 2008, day 76. Proud to be Lakota. I first heard about the Lakota independence movement several months ago on the radio talk show Free Talk Live when they were interviewing a Lakota spokesperson, Russell Means. In December of 2007, the Lakota people declared their independence from the United States government by formally dissolving all treaties they had previously had with the United States government. Russell said that the United States government had habitually broken its treaties with the Lakota people. So they were officially declaring their independence from the United States government and establishing themselves as a sovereign, independent nation. They are also trying to get recognized as an independent nation by the rest of the international community. And although I personally don't accept the authority of any course of government, I realize that governments do exist and that they think they have authority. And I believe that the smaller the government, the better. So therefore, I fully support and recognize the independence of the Lakota from the United States government. And as I believe I mentioned in my Scottish video, I also support the independence movement of any people around the world from the governments that claim to have authority over them. As a side note, I realize I've been breaking one of my own rules by liberally using the collective to refer to the Lakota people in this video. And that not necessarily all of the Lakota people support that declaration of independence. But for the ones that do, I stand in support of them. In fact, I briefly toyed with the idea of moving out to one of the states where the Lakota are located and joining their independence movement myself. Had it not been for the fact that I'm already moving to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, to be able to work with a great group of activists at reducing the size of government there, and hopefully to help New Hampshire declare independence from the United States, I might have joined the Lakota, if they would have had me, in their independence from the United States government. There seem to be a lot more gun-related shops in this area of the country. Since I had so much success in getting coverage in the last couple newspapers by essentially just walking into their offices, I'm going to visit the offices of the Missoulian and the Missoula Independent today, two local newspapers. Natural toys, you know, for kids. I was afraid of that in getting to Missoula on the weekend. I had emailed the city editor a few days ago but didn't receive a response, so maybe I'll try back again Monday morning. I used to have a 91 Corvette, so I'm kind of partial to Corvettes. It really is sad to me the number of people who are willing to use government to infringe on other people's property rights. As Brooke was so aptly pointing out to me yesterday, if they really don't want the property developed, why don't they purchase it with their own money and leave it undeveloped? That's much more expensive than using the force of government to get what you want though. I decided to give myself a much needed rest today. So I only ended up walking 10 miles. And here's my current location. This is Will Buchanan for blog.walkforliberty.com, signing off.
You have the power. Restore the power.